Hi, welcome back. In this session, let's see how to define the security scheme in RAML API specification. And also we'll see how to create a library file and use it in the API specification. Security scheme is used in the API specification to define what kind of security is enabled for the API. If you want your API to be secured from basic authentication or authentication one or two, it can be of any type. It can be client ID enforcement where the consumer should supply the client ID and secret in order to access the APIs. In that cases, we can define the security scheme in the API specification so that the consumer will understand what kind of security is enabled for the APIs so that they can request for the access and then they can use the APIs. And also we'll see um, how to create a library file and move all the data type declarations uh, and security schemes and also resource type declarations to a library file. And use those details from the root file wherever required. So let's use the API specification that we have created in uh, previous sessions and add the security schemes and also we'll create library file for the existing details. Let's select the flight API specification where uh, we already have uh, endpoints flight and booking endpoints available. We can see the traits, traits resource types and uh, the data types already created in previous session. Resource types we have created, types we have created and we have created example files and importing it in the root file. Uh, we can see that we have get flights and post flights API and also we have booking APIs. So let's select get flights API where the API consumer can get the array of flight information. It's a flight array information where they can get flight information and also booking information. So let's try to run the same API from Postman for better understanding. This is the exact same uh, API which is running in the mock server. It's working based on the mocked data that we have given in the API specifications. So in the success response, we are getting flight array information and also there are validations based on the API specification. The flight class was required field. So if we don't give, we will get error. And also we have client ID and secret in the header section. And if you see the authorization, we don't have any authorization defined for the API. So API consumer can access uh, without, um, any, anybody can access these APIs, uh, the outsider without even giving the any authentication details. So what if you want to define some authentication for the API so that they have to give username and password uh, to access the APIs. It can be bearer token where they have to give the valid token. So if you want to define some security for your application, your API, then you can select them. You can tell the API consumer that the API is secured. So let's see how to, oh, how to tell the API consumer that the APIs are secured that is by using security schemes. So under the security, we have security schemes and let's select it and let's give some name for the security scheme. Let's say OAuth security. You can give uh, the name as per your requirement, your choice. Let's say what is the type of the security? What kind of security you want to enable for the API? It can be authentication one, two, or basic authentication. So for now, let's select basic authentication so that the user should have the username and password to access the APIs. Let's add some description says um, what kind of security is enabled or something. Let's change to authentication two. 
you can select uh, the type of the authentication based on your requirement or your organization's requirement just that the api consumer should have the proper details in order to access the apis for authentication too there are different ways they can access the apis they they can give the valid token or they can use password to access the api so on and this type of authentication is described by headers that means uh, the authorization header should be passed with the valid token or valid uh, password or something so this is how the authentication to is described the consumer should have the should give the authorization header so let's say how the apis are secured we will use secured by parameter to indicate that the apis are secured by oauth security the, this is the security that we have defined uh, security scheme so right side in the documentation we can see that uh, the security is enabled for the api which is of type authentication 2 and uh, we have a required authorization header to access the api so consumer will understand what should be given exactly to access the apis so let's try to hit the api so here we can see that what exactly is expected for authentication too so the type of the authentication is authentication 2 and if we check um, we can see that there are four ways you can give the uh, you can access the apis through authentication 2 it can be client credentials where you have to have the client id and secret valid client id and secret and get the valid token to access the apis there is some protocols that we have to follow to get the valid token so let's change it to basic authentication for uh, better understanding because it's easy basic in basic authentication uh, the consumer should have the valid username and password to access the apis so based on what type of authentication you select you will get more information here in the documentation uh, sections so now we can see that if we try to hit it's saying that authorization header is missing which is a required parameter so let's try to add, add uh, the authorization header let's give some random name and try to hit the api now it works because as part of security uh, scheme we have to give the authorization header let's try to hit the api from postman uh, it's saying authorization is missing yes the authorization is missing this uh, this api is working based on the api specification that we are currently um, adding so let's try to give some basic uh, authorization details just give some random username and password it is working because we we have not enabled the real policy so the random values are working if we check the console we can see that in the headers we have authorization so authorization header is getting passed so we are getting the success response so you can select uh, basic authentication or the bearer token or based on the requirement uh, your organization has you can select the type of the authentication now it's basic authentication and the, the consumer should have the proper username and password so if they give that in the authorization section the authorization header will be passed so that uh, the consumer can access the apis so now we can see that security is applied for all the APIs because we have this secured by option outside of the API so it's available for all the APIs in the API specification in the root file so if we remove that we don't see that option if you want to add this security just for one API you can add it inside the API now we can see that we added the secured by option just for get API so we can see that security is available for get API not for other apis so based on the requirement you can add uh, the security just for one api or if you want to add for all the apis um, 
in the API specification, you can uh, put it the secured by option outside. So now we have defined some security scheme and which is described by authorization header. So we can see that authorization header is getting added as part of the Okay, let's see. Um, I think we have not. Okay, authorization header is not there, but we are getting success response. I think we have not saved the API specification. Let's save it. Let's try to run again. Yes, the authorization header is missing. If we don't give anything, no authentication, then the authorization header will not be passed. In that case, we will get an error. Let's select bearer token and give some value, some random value. It's working with some random value because we have not enabled any policy yet. We have selected bearer token with some random value and we can see that authorization header is added and we are getting successful response. So based on your requirement, you can select the type of the authorization and uh, you can you can tell what how the authorization is described it can be authorization header or something else so now we have security scheme types resource types and traits so let's remove everything and create a library file so in this case we just we just have few information few data types and few resource types but in real project, you will have a lot of data types defined. So in that case, it's good. We can organize the code by creating libraries and move all the data types and security schemes and the resource types. So now we have removed everything from the root file and added to the library file and trying to use it from the root file again. We don't need the include tag to use the library file we can just directly refer to the library file we have types resource types data types and security schemas everything in one file so and we are trying to use it from the root file let's try to access all the data types and resource types through library so lib is the custom name that we have given for the library file that we have imported lib.flightarray let's change all the places where we are uh, referring the information lib.client header Previously, we had all the information present in the root file. Now we have created a library file and moved all the information and accessing uh, through library. So if you want to uh, add new data types, you can just keep on creating the data types and keep on adding the data types here. You can give the type of the data type so on and start using it from the root file. So this way we can organize the code and uh, have all the data type declarations, resource type declarations in one file. So now let's remove the security scheme and create a file for security scheme as well. The type of the security scheme is basic authentication. We already have all the details, just paste it and try to import the security file here. Yeah. We just copied uh, the security scheme details, exact same details that we had previously. And the basic authentication is described through authorization header and we have all the information needed. So secured by is the keyword that we use to define the kind of security. So let's recall what we have done. We have uh, created security scheme in the API specification. We have tried to use the basic authentication and also authentication too. Based on the type of the authentication you use, you will get 
more information in the documentation section and also we have created library file and used it in the root file that's it for today thank you see you in next session